Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and today I'd like to talk about supernatural hospitality. I'm looking at Luke chapter 14, verse 12 and following. Jesus is at a dinner party that's been thrown by one of the leaders of the Pharisees, and he says this to his host. When you give a luncheon or a dinner, don't invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbours in case they may invite you in return and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame and the blind and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. I find this passage hugely challenging on several fronts. One of the things I love about it is uh, if you read on, he goes on to tell the, the parable of the great banquet, which, which is a kingdom parable. It talks about how essentially God has, has opened this party, uh, but those invited have made their excuses. And so the, the banquet master sends out his servants to bring in those from the by, highways and byways who are, who are, and he quotes again the four, the poor, um, the crippled, the blind and the lame. The same four he's just mentioned in the context of whom we should invite to our dinner parties. And, um, and it strikes me there that therefore that there is a direct equivalence Jesus is saying needs to take place between this kind of kingdom hospitality message and our actual hospitality on the ground. There should be an alignment of that. Um, it, it's challenging, isn't it? Because he basically says, invite those who don't normally receive an invite. You know, in the world of natural hospitality, worldly hospitality, the people you invite round are the people you like, the people who your family or friends, or maybe your rich neighbours who might invite you back and, uh, and, and give you a, you know, a nice steak and a bottle of wine and a, some after dinner mints or whatever. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that necessarily, but that's just, that's just stopping at the natural, at the worldly. And Jesus is pushing us into supernatural hospitality, into kingdom hospitality and saying, why don't you work towards inviting people whom God is interested in, in drawing into his kingdom? And um, why don't you reflect the heart of God in your, in your hospitality? So I find that a challenge because I'm not sure that is reflected in my habits at all. And so I need to think about that far more intentionally. And the second thing I find challenging about this, this, this teaching is, is Jesus basically puts his finger upon the transactional nature of natural hospitality, worldly hospitality that there's this sort of idea of, of, of reciprocity. I, I will invite you around if you invite me around. I'll scratch your back if you'll scratch mine. Um, you know, I, I stand to get something out of this arrangement. Whereas Jesus is saying, you, you shouldn't set it up that way, or that shouldn't be the basis on which your hospitality operates. That's not the kingdom mentality. The kingdom mentality is, is of a gratuitous generosity, the pouring out of, of love sacrificially, the, the multiplication outwards of, of blessing and drawing in those who are less fortunate than ourselves and not expecting a return on that in this life. And he says, you know, there will be a return on your investment as it were, but it will be one from God himself who sees what is done uh, for, for his little ones and, uh, and blesses you accordingly. And so it's a different mindset, a different model of hospitality, a different uh, impulse or uh, kind of a drive that should underpin our hospitality. And so uh, that's another challenge to me. Um, perhaps you want to think this, this week about who, who are you inviting to your hospitality and, uh, and, and on what basis are you doing so? Is it a transactional model or a gratuitous generosity of overflowing love that doesn't expect anything in return? I think when we see that kind of supernatural hospitality displayed in our own lives, people will say that's the kingdom right there. That's the kingdom.